guys, it's John from theproductivegarden.com and I'm here with another update from the balcony. Now, it's um, been another week and I've harvested a bit, so let's go and have a look at what I've just harvested now. Alright, so there's some cherry tomatoes that I've just harvested and a whole heap of lettuce. And um, I'll use this lettuce in a salad tonight, so it's not bad lettuce actually. And um, yeah, I'm just glad to be able to get lettuce off it now. Okay, the strawberries, they haven't done much this week, so we'll go and do a tour and I'll do my weekly turning of the pot. So you go another 90 degrees to share the, the um, sunlight around. You can see there, a bit of space created where I've pulled some leaves off. Um, just notice too, this, um, this red one doesn't seem to have gone to seed too badly at all, but this green one this one doesn't look too bad, although there is a bit of a seed head forming there. Um, let's go past the cup skin, hasn't done much. Um, but this one here, you can see there it's formed, forming a bit of a seed head there. So um, this was the one that was struggling. So it seems when it's decided to get up and go, it's decided to go straight to seed. But you can still get those leaves off, they're actually still pretty good. So um, I'm going to harvest the leaves off it and then... Uh, what I'll probably do is just get a, a small lettuce and just replace it with a small one somewhere in the pot. And once I pull that out, the small one will be up and going. Anyway, so the chives, they're struggling. Um, they do have some new growth coming back on. So I am hoping this gets up and goes again. Um, carrots, they're doing all right. Okay, the cucumber, they're, like I say, they're picked up a bit. They've actually got a bit more growth compared to last week so it's coming on pretty good um, I've actually just um, oh, earlier today applied a bit of um, uh, worm compost worm castings to which ones did I give it to I gave it to the cucumbers um, gave it to the two eggplants and the two capsicums as well so um, hopefully that should give those things a kick along and um, they'll, they'll improve a whole lot more um, okay so this eggplant still Struggling along that they should start to pick up now we've been getting a lot more warmer weather so hopefully they'll start picking up along with the capsicums um, the lime tree is still doing well um, what's next now this um, tomato this is a Roma tomato I've also given that some worm castings as well so hopefully it'll give it a kick along this tomato has gotten a whole lot bigger um, haven't noticed any new ones coming on let there's plenty of flowers coming on so there's some more flowers there um, but no more tomatoes yet. So I've harvested one off there and I've um, just got that other one growing. The blueberry is getting lots of nice growth on it so hopefully it'll be preparing itself well for next year. So I look forward to plenty of blueberries off that next year. The ginger is coming along alright so that's doing well. The asparagus is getting heaps of growth in it so that should definitely, um, hopefully, give us some nice asparagus next year. So I'm looking forward to that. The goji berry is doing all right. It's growing taller all the time. Um, you see here, there's some, there's some new growth there. Growing tips on there, they're doing pretty well. So it's, um, yeah, it's growing bigger all the time. The um, galangal, it's a little bit ahead of the ginger, and it's doing well also beans there's a couple more beans there there's one smaller sort of bean I'll leave that on there for a little while longer um, see more flowers there more flowers on this one so we'll get a few more beans off that the key to beans is to keep harvesting off them if you let them um, if you let the beans ripen or go dry then you'll find that your plants will will um, will stop producing even if you cut those ripe beans off those hardened beans off they'll tend just to to die back um, and not produce anymore. So with your beans just keep producing or uh, keep picking them all the time and they'll produce over a fairly long period. You know the potatoes they're going pretty well. Um, no flowers coming on this yet but it certainly is getting some nice growth on it. A um, few holes in it where bugs and stuff have eaten it but that's going to happen. So hopefully in a month or two's time this will start dying back and then we'll empty it out and see how many potatoes we get. Hopefully we get a nice good crop of them. This eggplant, like I said, they've um, received some worm castings, so 
Um, hopefully it'll pick up with that. Okay, the cherry tomatoes, these have actually been doing pretty well. Um, heaps of green tomatoes on there, so there's some there, some more there, some more down here. Um, that's on one plant, on this one. There's some more cherry tomatoes there, another big one there. Um, still plenty of flowers coming on. Another, they're, they're starting to fruit there as well. So these cherry tomatoes have done really well. And um, last but not least, the herbs have done really well. Um, gonna, I'll probably, when I have the salad tonight, I don't mind a bit of coriander in my salad, so I'll probably, even like these flowers and stuff, you can you can eat all them. Um, I'll, I'll actually cut some of this back and uh, have this in a salad tonight. Parsley's going really well, we've used a little bit of that. Um, thyme, oregano and rosemary, we've used all of them in different pasta sauces when we've been doing that. So um, it's really, um, the herbs are really come in handy in this, that there's plenty of herbs. Um, I think I've certainly cut the rosemary and the thyme back, oh, sorry, the oregano and the thyme back a fair bit. Taking quite a few sprigs off the um, rosemary as well, it's done really well, it's just come back really well. So it's, um, yeah, it's been pretty good overall, that herb pot, that's worked well stacking on top of each other. Alright, so that's the update for this week. So if you're watching this video near or close to the, the date that I've filmed it, which is a Friday the 28th of December, um, it'll be near the end of the year, it'll be last video for 2012. And so I hope you've had a nice Christmas and I'd like to take this opportunity to wish you a happy new year as well and a prosperous new year. And I'll see you next year. And until then, happy Rocket Gardening. Bye.